Hello and welcome back to everyone. My name is Shiva Magarwal and this is AI and Machine Learning and Deep Learning project series in Python. So this will be our project 7. For the first 6 projects we have already created, you can look up to it in our playlist. This will be our brain tumor detection project using deep learning. Like in the last project that was cat vs dog, we saw how to use convolutional neural network to deal with images. Here also we will deal with brain tumor images and will classify whether the patient's MRI image shows any sign of brain tumor or not and if there is a brain tumor what kind of tumor it is okay so this will be our project let us look at the data set first first we'll look at a data set then we'll uh, in the next video we'll try to create the project from the scratch this project will be different from previous projects because here we will have to deal with images and this data set will not be uh, having just two categories it will be having multiple categories so we will be focusing on splitting data as well let us first look at the data set itself so on Kaggle community platform I have this data set called as brain tumor classification MRI the, so this data set will be having some MRI images of brain this was updated two years ago let us look at it so it is used to detect and classify the brain tumor using CNN. It is already specifying that we can use CNN for the classification. Then we can see over here that there are four directories. The first one is glioma tumor, then is meningioma tumor, then there is no tumor, and then is the file for pituitary tumor. You can see there are over 100 files for the three directories. So you can say that yeah we have uh, enough number of images for a project like this however uh, we can use something called as data augmentation for increasing the size of the data set. You can see the size is currently 91 MB. I will supply the link to this data set and the notebook in the description box you can check down below. So we have data support for testing and for training as well. So here in training you can see there are multiple files 826 in the first one. If I show you this and over 800 files for almost three categories. So we have a lot of data over approximately 3000 files for training and we have approximately uh, 400 uh, files approximately 350 to 400 files for testing also. Okay. So this is quite large data set. So our convolutional neural network will take some time to train as well uh, considering this size of data set. This is available on Kaggle community platform. Let us look at what we are going to do in the next video. So we have looked at a data set that there are four categories before this project we were dealing with uh, just two categories that was cat and dog in the last project but here as we have four categories we cannot use something called as image data generator that we used before here we will have to create the labels and in those labels we will divide the categories and supply the images of all those categories into those labels okay so we'll have to put some more efforts into this project you will learn how to deal with multiple categories when there is a data set like this when there are four categories or maybe eight or ten categories doesn't matter but you will learn how to deal with multiple categories for binary categories it is very simple you can use image data generator because it will uh, classify it into just zero and one but when you have multiple categories you will use uh, a different kind of problem okay then we'll create the neural network neural network will be convolutional in type we'll have to create a larger neural network this time because we have uh, four categories so we'll have to create a better and larger new convolutional neural network then we'll try to train our model then we'll try to test it and finally we'll predict it using uh, image formats okay so we'll be using OpenCV in this case in the next video I'm already telling you uh, here because uh, we'll be dealing with all of these libraries in the next video so let us meet then uh, this is all for this problem statement. I hope you have understood. We are dealing with brain tumor detection which can be of three types and the fourth one is that the patient does not have a tumor. Okay, so let us create this project from scratch in the next video. Thank you.